To calculate the number of work days remaining in a month, use the network days function. Network days automatically excludes weekends and it can optionally exclude a custom list of holidays as well. The syntax for this function is start date, a date that represents the start date, end date, a date that represents the end date. Holidays, an optional range of one or more dates to exclude from the working calendar such as state and federal holidays and floating holidays. Network days includes both the start and end dates in the calculation if they are work days. See the formula. For the start date, supply the current date. Today function returns the current date. It can be entered in a cell and you can use the reference or use today function in the formula directly. The end date is calculated using the end of month function. The end of month function returns the last day of the month, n months in the past or future. Here is the syntax for the function. Start date, a date that represents the start date. Months, the number of months before or after start date. Use a positive value for months to get a date in the future. A negative value to get a date in the past zero for current month. For example, to get the last day one month before use minus one. You can use end of month to move through years as well. For example, using 24 gives last day two years later. See the examples for calculating future and previous month's last dates. To get the last day of the current month, Combine the today function with end of month. The today function returns the current date to the end of month function with zero for months. End of month calculates the last day of the current month. See this formula. The end of month function resolves to March 31st, 2021 and the number of working days between March 5th and March 31st inclusive is 19. Two of those working days, March 15th and 18th, are listed as holidays in the range D2 to D6. When you pass this as the third argument to network days function, those dates are excluded from the calculation and we get a value 17. To work with custom weekends, switch to the more robust network days.intl function which allows control over which days of the week are considered work days. See the syntax for the function. Use the same start date, end date and holidays as used in earlier function. As you enter the function, Excel displays a menu as soon as you go into the third argument. Simply select the appropriate weekend code and press enter. For example, let's select only Sunday as weekend. Between March 5th and March 31st, there are four Saturdays which are now included in work days and we get value as 21. To download the practice excel file, please click on the link in the video description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.